Well, this year is rounding out to be a record breaker in terms of global temperatures. It's been the hottest year to date, with the month of July, for instance, passing marks set in 2015, and Korea is no exception. Parts of the country have seen the mercury rise to the highest in more than a century, and the extreme heat wave has also brought about changes to the society. What the unusually hot weather this summer has resulted in, our news feature tonight with E.G. Wan. It is so hot these days that I have to shower many times a day. I don't go outside very much these days because of the heat wave. I've also suffered from heat-related illnesses. As reported in the news, this year has been extremely hot with record-breaking temperatures in Busan. I think the humidity has made it even worse, and this summer has been really tough for me. The westerly wind brought warm air from China, and combined with already warm air in Korea from high pressure in the North Pacific, it's made this year even hotter. It's not just uncomfortable. The record-breaking heat wave has affected society in a number of ways, some quite serious. Korea has already recorded the highest number of deaths from heat-related illnesses since record-keeping began in 2011. Sixteen people have reportedly died from heat stroke, heat edema or heat cramps. This summer, 1,800 people in Korea have reportedly suffered from heat-related illnesses, which is about 1.7 times higher than last year and 3.2 times higher than in 2014. Meanwhile, with more people using air conditioners and fans, Korea's demand for electricity hit an all-time high in August. The added strain on people's pocketbooks has revived calls to reform the country's electricity billing system. Adopted in 1973, the system is based on a cumulative billing scheme and requires households to pay a higher price for the same amount of electricity when they use more. The power company applies additional charges in six stages. For the first 100 kilowatts, the household pays about 5 cents per kilowatt in U.S. currency. But after 500 kilowatts, the household has to pay about 64 cents per kilowatt. Growing complaints about the billing scheme has prompted the government to announce that it is seeking ways to alleviate the financial burden on households. Beyond electric bills, the summer heat wave has also changed the way people spend the season, with more people seeking relief indoors. I enjoy hanging out outdoors, but this year it was so hot that I mostly stayed inside in air-conditioned buildings. My house is too hot and so is outside, so my friends and I usually hang out in cafes and malls. And unlike in previous summers, there's one destination that's fallen out of favor this year. Few people are going to beaches this year because the heat is too strong for water to cool you off. Instead, more people are spending their time in malls, where it's air-conditioned and full of entertainment like shopping, movies and eateries. He said people are also seeking closer and cooler getaways like the Hangang River, which doesn't take as much travel time and expense but still offers some relief. With the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change expecting the heat waves to become stronger in the coming years, climate experts say the government needs to work on providing relief by building more centers for the elderly and socially vulnerable groups, in addition to changing the electricity billing system. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.